Good morning everybody. It is Friday, November 8th, and it's race weekend. My coach actually has me training straight through this race so I could be ultra prepared for next year. So I'm on my way to the gym, brought the bike, I stopped at a park on the way, and I'm gonna do a couple rounds of some Wim Hof breathing. Then we're gonna head to the gym, do some squats, and then on the way to Jacksonville, I actually have to stop at the My Radar headquarters to go pick up um, a tent and some flags just to have a nice setup at the race this weekend. And then we're heading to Jacksonville and it's time to get down to business. It's time to race. It's time to give my absolute best and uh, see what we come up with. So stay tuned. stop real quick to some of my favorite people and they're in Orlando Florida I'll give you a little hint where we're at wait till you see this office building it's actually pretty sweet but we're heading to the first stop at the Florida Cup State Pro Series or whatever they're calling it these days and we're at my radar right now and the building is actually pretty sweet oh wait I'm in people's way sorry guys <laughs> So this is definitely one of the coolest buildings you look up. Check this out. I don't know what that is or what you call it, but I'm definitely in people's way, so let's get up there. <coughs> Hello? building and I gotta say it's definitely one of the coolest buildings and I feel flattered that the first one of the first things you see when you step in here yeah this building is definitely next level this is the studio practice going down we got the whole setup the course in my radar booth and uh, I'm excited to ride the track everyone keeps saying it's a super fun track I get some nice practice hopefully hit some nice jumps and then uh, have some fun racing this weekend I'm excited for the whole Florida series to start excited to meet some new people and have some fun riding bikes so stay tuned hey uh, yo is my GoPro beeping red yeah <laughs>
for the people out here. We got Coach Mayo. We got coaching a champ BMX from five or six on one day. Wednesdays. Sometimes I'm Jeremy Smith, Jason Wood, course group captain, and Will Grant, yours truly, filmer. What's your name and where you're from? Henry Robinson. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. I'd say more way of Louisiana, though. Born and raised in Louisiana. So Bam. you're from Jacksonville, Florida. I mean, I mean, you live. I've been here a while. I've been, I've been here a while. How many years have you lived here in Jacksonville, I've Florida? I've lived here over 15 years. Over oh, 15 yeah. years, you've lived in Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville yeah. Beach, Florida. Okay, yeah, from you, you, you live on Jacksonville Beach. I live, uh, yeah, over the ditch. Where are we right now? Ooh, we're on the north side of Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Where anything could happen after the street lights come on. <laughs> Tell me what you mean by that. Don't go outside, boys and girls. It's dangerous out there. <laughs> Henry, tell the Billy Cannon what's going on out there. Uh, I do believe there's some uh, two ladies uh, uh, fighting over some fella. I actually did have a big bowl of fruit that I already ate, but I don't even think they sell vegetables up here in the north side of Jacksonville, do they? I don't think so. I just don't go to any stores <laughs> here. <laughs> straight to the track, straight yeah. back to the beach. <laughs> yeah, so, so we got peanut butter and jelly. Um, Dave's killer bread, like I'm not a bread eater. I don't oh, I love Dave's killer bread. I don't even recommend bread, like it's I'm not a fan one. of bread. But when I do eat bread, I definitely do eat um the Dave's killer bread. It's actually a cool story. Like he spent a lot of time in prison. I don't know, like this dude. Dude, my grandma met this guy. Damn. This dude was in prison? Yeah, Dave's killer bread. And Look he's it a up. Baller bread seller now. Yeah, bro, he's got a crazy story. It is story. the best though. Yo. I'm sure you can YouTube it right now. Look up Dave's Killer Bread and like, yeah, they're from Oregon, like up in the Northwest. Yeah, they're legit. You don't even? No, the bread. Oh, yeah. yeah. There is no option of good fruits or vegetables yeah, here, but the only vegetables. option was the Publix. Publix yeah, that's, that's. And I did go to the Publix and just walked around and I got, I got some fancy water. 10 pH. This is the healthiest thing I could find at the grocery store. Actually, I did get a kiwi and I already ate the kiwi and I got like a bowl of fruits and I already ate the bowl of fruits. Hey, oh yeah, so race day. Well, Bailey, <laughs> is that your second PB&J? Oh shit, you are. <laughs> I heard you went vegan. I was like doing, I'm doing like a vegetarian thing. That's cool, like yeah. plant-based, like. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I'm just trying it. This is Tyler Klumper from South Africa because He's a little shy, he don't like to introduce himself. He's actually a badass on a bike, but he does have a full-time job, which takes away a lot of time from training, but he's still a badass on a bike, so he rips and still comes to races and still making main events and still doing pretty dang good. And he decided hey. to go on a plant-based diet. What do you think about that, Henry? Actually, I don't eat much meat, so. You don't eat much meat? I don't eat, I mean, if it, if I do, it's like, you know, ground turkey, mm. but very, I don't eat a whole lot of meat. Yeah. I've been eating a lot of veg, veggie Dude, like shit. It's, it's, it's like changed the it, way I feel. You feel way better. Yeah. Bro, I feel like you just feel healthy. Bro, I feel like you look healthier. For real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, really good. For, if you know how yeah. old I am. You how old are you? 
I'll be 39 in January, dog. Ooh. Yeah, dude. Damn. <laughs> that dude is pretty as hell, ain't he? <laughs> to look that good <laughs> at that at age. 30, 39 I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you don't want to be this tall, but... You know. <laughs> Attention. So driving home from Jacksonville, the race weekend is over, and I gotta admit, I really did have a freaking blast. Um, I'm genuinely enjoying racing literally more than I ever have in my whole entire life. And I think a huge part of it is just, I have a whole new perspective on racing. Definitely before all the injuries, when I was racing, I was really just racing for my own ego and just trying to make myself feel great and trying to make myself great. And now it's like, I'm genuinely just falling in love with the process of getting better and just trying to use each moment with an opportunity to observe and learn and uh, to learn how I can improve and better myself to best um, use what I learned to help other people. And it's really amazing like how much of a difference this has all made. Never in my life at a BMX race have I had so many kids and parents and just people in general come up to me and just being super awesome, like congratulating me. I wanna thank everybody so much for all the kind words that they said to me this weekend and cheering me on. It was truly amazing. and. Really, before all the injuries, I never really had kids or parents come up to me like this ever in my life. And I mean, I th I'm pretty sure a huge part of that was because when I was there, I was literally just racing for myself. I didn't really go out of my way to talk to kids or um, anything like that. I was just focused on myself. And if a kid talked to me, you know, I wasn't mean, I wasn't rude, but um, I was generally just doing it to do it. And now, like every single time a person, it didn't matter if they were a kid, an adult, just to stop and just to listen to them and like hear them out and trying to understand what they're saying and like genuinely just give them any sort of words of encouragement or just anything I can to help lift them up and and it's it's really awesome and so much more fulfilling than as opposed to just going to the track and just literally living for myself. So overall, it was an awesome weekend. I definitely didn't get the exact results that I was looking for. I was hoping for a little bit more, but I mean, it is what it is. It's an opportunity to sit and like learn. I still haven't completely stopped and reflected on everything, but you know, I'm gonna open up my sketchbook and I'm gonna get into it and I'm gonna start seeing, um, just analyzing my weekend, trying to be completely unbiased and kind of brutal with myself as possible to find, you know, those things that I can improve on and those things that I want to give extra focus when I work on and also take note of the things that went really well because I believe that's extremely important. We have to stop and to notice um, things that we are doing well because it helps more of that come and on top of that um, we have to focus on our strengths so we are connected and know what our strengths are so we 
can bring those tools out whenever are needed. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. I know this is definitely a different video. It's more into my athletic BMX side of things, but leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you have any other recommendations, holla, give it a big old fat thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and check out my website at www.thewillgrant.com. Now let me drive. And